So you see this warning here where it says wear neoprene. You see this warning here, but most people ignore it. Hey guys, JD here. And today we're gonna take a look at the Jet Drive neoprene ride shorts. When it comes to safety out on the water, nobody's got you covered like Jet Tribe. So today we'll be looking at the Jet Tribe neoprene ride shorts. These two millimeter fitted stretch ride shorts are some of the nicest I've seen on the market. This is not an unboxing video. I've been wearing these for a couple months now. So I've been wearing these Jet Tribe shorts now for a couple months and they've held up really well. I love the pocket here and they fit really well. I've got a size 36 waist and the sizing chart really was accurate from Jet Tribe. You can see I've got a little extra slack in the leg there. This has perplexed me for years. Barely anybody out on the water wears neoprene ride shorts. Despite multiple warnings on every personal watercraft made today warning riders to wear them. Wear shorts with neoprene. So we've got our neoprene shorts, we've got our Jet Tribe vest, we've got gloves, and we've got that safety gear. But I see too many riders neglecting to wear shorts with neoprene. I think it's because they're hard to find. I mean, I couldn't find any decent ones on the market until these Jet Tribe ones came along. There's no better way to stay safe out in the water than with a pair of these Jet Tribe riding shorts. And I just wanna show you, they've got really high quality stitching Give you a look at that there. Again, I'm not just unboxing these and showing them to you. I, I actually wear these. I've been wearing them for a couple months. I've ridden the hell out of them and they've held up perfectly. I mean, they still look basically new. I love that these have this pocket on the side here. So I had a pair of Scuba Pro neoprene shorts that I had worn previously because I couldn't really find any true rider gear on the market. Um, there were There's a, the pants that like the racers wear, but here in South Florida, you don't need neoprene wetsuit pants most of the year, it's it's too hot. So these Jet Tribe riding shorts really fit the bill. They were designed for personal watercraft use by Jet Tribe, of course. They've got this nice closing clasp right here so you could tighten them up. Now, the cool thing about these that I really like, and you might be able to tell from looking at them here, uh, but these have a pretty high cut in the back. So this eliminates the plumber's crack. Uh, these really do, you could kind of tell from looking at them this way, that the back is cut a little higher. You guys going over 70 miles an hour on the water, imagine what it would feel like if you fell off at that speed. So while it is important for the rider to have neoprene shorts on, your passenger can suffer even more injuries if they're not wearing them. And so, you know, this warning isn't, this, this warning was added because enough people got seriously injured that manufacturers got together to add this warning on here. So when you look at this and choose not to comply, Keep that in mind. But again, guys, if you haven't considered a pair of neoprene ride shorts like this, I've tried out a couple different pairs, and uh, I think these are the best in the market by Jet Tribe. They have the pocket, the back rises up nice and high so you don't have your crack hanging out. I take safety very seriously. I always wear my PFD, my personal flotation device. I wear gloves, I wear boots, I wear my shorts, and you know, I see too many guys out on the water that just don't take their safety or the safety of others seriously. And so I have an opportunity with this channel to convey some of this knowledge to you. It is no secret. I'm gonna show you again, wear neoprene shorts. If that wasn't important, it wouldn't be emblazoned on the ski in multiple places for you to see. I can't stress this enough. So make the smart decision, buy a pair of neoprene ride shorts, I've been riding with these shorts in salt water, abuse out in the ocean, and they have held up great. I don't wash them when I get home. I just dip them in some salt away, dip them in some fresh water, and hang them up to dry. And that's worked pretty well so far. They've got this great pocket. And you can see the quality of the construction and the stitching. As with most Jet Tribe products, these are proudly not made in China. And I recommend you check them out. 
Special thank you to Jet Tribe for all the awesome products and all the support. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more Kawasaki content only on JD's Waterworld.